Hello CMP families. We've reached the end of the school year and we just want to take this time to say thank you. Thank you for allowing us the privilege of working with your sons and daughters. We know that as parents we have options and we're glad that you chose Shock Down Tacoma Park. Um, last night we had an awesome ceremony for our seniors. Graduation was held at Fire Lake Arena and we had 421 kids who actually graduated from high school last night and 409 of those chose to participate in the ceremony and walked across the stage. We look forward to seeing what becomes next for them, whether they go to college, trade school, career tech, maybe to the workforce, whatever it is, we're looking forward to seeing them as they grow and move forward. I'd also like to highlight some of the things that have happened throughout the school year. All six of our elementary schools have once again reached model school status. We've also received many awards. Our baseball team was the state academic champions. Um, our winter guard and our percussion won the state competition. Um, our speech uh, program won the state competition for the first time in their history and they have seven students who've qualified for nationals. So we've had a lot of great uh, amazing things that are going on in our district and we're, we're always proud of what our students, our sponsors, coaches, and teachers uh, help us to accomplish. I would also like to make parents of returning students aware that you will be receiving an email on July 31st of this year, which will be um, just so you can update your demographics, whether you've had an address change, a phone number change, anything that may have changed, email address. Um, if you have had an email address change during the year and you haven't notified the school, please make sure you do that before the secretaries are gone for the summer. That way, when the emails are sent out on July 31st, it'll be sent to the appropriate address. Also, for those parents that have students who attend Indian Meridian and James Griffith Elementary, um, for the last several years, we've been known as the Indian Meridian and JGI Uni Unified Campus. Um, we've been working as one under one administration under the new bond those two schools are going to have a hallway that connects them together so we felt like this is the appropriate time where we would actually combine those with a name and so the school board uh, chose to uh, incorporate names from both Indian Meridian and James Griffith into the new name so the new name for uh, the IME JGI Unified Campus will be Griffith Meridian Elementary so GME Nothing else will change at this time. If your students were pre-K through second grade, you will still attend the old Indian Meridian building and third through fifth grade will attend the old James Griffith Intermediate building, but there will be under one name. Um, eventually, there will be a hallway again that connects the two. We'll have safe rooms that are gonna be in there for everybody on the campus, but the name will be Griffith Meridian Elementary, GME. In addition to the project going on at Griffith Meridian Elementary, we're excited to announce the groundbreaking for the project at Choctaw High School. It will be today at 5 p.m. in front of Choctaw High School. We've invited dignitaries, uh, school board members, administration, and the community is welcome as well, but we will be doing that today at 5 p.m. to officially kick off that project. We will also have other various projects on the bond beginning either this summer or throughout next school year. For more information on that, you can visit our bond page on our district website. I'd also like to make you aware of some of the neat opportunities that we have for students available this summer. First, at Choctaw High School, we have credit recovery. Credit recovery is for students who may have lost their credit for various reasons. For information on that, please contact a counselor at Choctaw High School. We also have SPARK. SPARK is a program for students identified as needing remediation in any of our elementary schools. Lego Learning Camp is also available. It will be in July and it's for pre-K through fifth grade students. Camp Invention will be held in June and it's for elementary students through sixth grade as well. And then finally, we have Extended School Year. Extended School Year, or ESY, is for special needs students who meet certain criteria. And finally, once again, thank you parents for allowing us to work with your children as we go throughout this school year. It was a great school year and we look forward to an even better year next year. Have a safe and relaxing summer.